Hello friends, it's the Grub back once again, and we are ready to work on our next uh, Catern mission here. The Catern 2 mission. Uh, basically, it's just a another version of the Catern 1 mission, only we're shooting for a higher orbit. Uh, we're shooting for between 400 and 500 uh, th kilometers. And then we do an EVA again. So... So with that note, let's go ahead and bring up our vehicle. And I believe we will have enough in this. That may be all I will need to do is just add a second fuel tank here. 180 and they're about the same weight but I think that'll do me Something else we can finally add on. These fellas there. Okay. So I think that should get us to where we need to be. So let's go ahead and say this is the Catern 2 rocket. Go ahead and launch this. Just make sure that all my stuffs here is in orbit in order. Let's see the out fire, then there's let go. And then we'll do that one, those are out, and then that fires, okay. So yeah, everything is in order. Oops. You never took off. One thing I forgot. So I need a fins. There we go. I hope those don't get ripped off by these. I should do it. Alright, Cannon 2 is ready now. Alright, turn on our SAS. Throttle up our engines for when the liquid fuel boosters go out. And we are ready to launch in five, four, start. It's all fuel boosters now. One, and we have launch of the Catter 2. Ready for takeoff. Yep. And I will see you when we reach orbit.
Hello folks, we are back, and as you can see here, we not quite in orbit, but we have our rides ready, and we're ready to burn so we can get our orbit out to 400,000, plus, between the 400 and 5,000, 400 and 500,000, I should say, marker. Just kind of waiting for our point, and there we have our moon rise. And just kind of... Get ready for our point. Here we go. And I'm gonna burn here in a few moments. All right, ready to burn now. That's good enough. Set our next one over here for next burn. There, that's close enough. Let's go ahead and turn into that direction. And I'll be back when we're ready to start that burn. Alright, we're about 40 seconds out from our burn. There's Kerbal. Kerbin. Our shining blue ball. We got about a 14 second burn to get ourselves equalized in our orbit. And we'll be starting that burn here soon. And we'll start now. That's close enough. Yeah. 414, 415, I think we can call that close enough. <laughs> so here we are. So yeah, I guess I could finally say I got orbital mechanics down well enough. Take our crew report here. We have to go EVA, so let's EVA it. Get our EVA report. Let's see, is there any extra to be had if I were to do it over, say, the ocean? Being this high over, or is it only just high over curve? Yeah. It's all just about being high over curving right now. So there we have it. Yeah, okay, I completed this. Just that when I go back in, it's no longer true. So now we just need to land safely back on Kerbin. And we'll set the maneuver there, so that when we land, we can attempt to land on the light side. And uh, I'll be back when we're ready to do our return trip burn. Let me just move that down out of the way. I don't really need that until we get back down to the ground. It obstructs the lovely view of space. So yeah, the Katarin missions, from what I have read, deal primarily with getting used to EVA and docking. Uh, whereas the previous ones were just trying to get us into orbit and 
rocket general rocket mechanics. Alright, we're coming up on a burn in about a minute. Burn here in two, two, one, burn. People say you should burn half on one side, half on the other side. Problem is, sometimes what this tells you is not what you actually are going to be burning at. It's weird. Oh. Alright, so we are locked in to land back on Kerbin so we can go ahead and get rid of this. I guess we didn't really need those two fuel pods. Kinda feel bad that we're gonna leave that go to waste and just crash to the planet. Turn off the torqueness. Turn off the SAS. And I will be back when we have landed. Or when... Yeah, I'll be back when we've landed. Folks, we are back, and we are about to land here on Kerbin. Looking like we're going to land on the other side of the planet from the KSC. And, uh, I'm not sure if this is a grasslands or if this is a highlands. I wouldn't say it's a mountain. It doesn't really look grasslandy. But we have succeeded in our mission. And let's go ahead and just pop. Uh... Wait, was that Jebediah? We got Jebediah back. I wonder if when I reverted because of those errors, if it reverted back to before he became the shooting star. Hmm. Alright, yep, we were in the Highlands. So, alright, let's go ahead and... We cover our vessel, for we have completed the Cattern 2 mission successfully. And we got ourselves a little science in the progress. Or in the meantime. Let's just take a look here. I don't think there's anything we can actually get right now. Take a look at some of the stuff we can get here in the future. Alright. Well, once again, this has been The Grub. Hope you've enjoyed. That was the Kira 2. And we will continue on next time with our new our next mission, on, which will be the Kira 3. Which has us start launching unmanned vessels for us to tr start practicing our docking on later. So, look forward to that.